Hey, what's up, Econ grads? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to update your theme without losing your settings. And what I mean by that is when you, whenever you get a new theme update, typically you'll get a zip file, you have to upload it to your store, and then you have to redesign the entire store all over again, which is very counterintuitive. We have all been there. It's annoying. We have very busy lives. We can't be redesigning what we already did. So I'm going to teach you a very quick and easy way to migrate most of your design edits from your lower version to the newer version and I'm going to simulate that by uh, using an exported version of this theme um, if you haven't checked out the other videos go and check them out where we teach you how to you know create custom page sections and overall just turn debut theme into an overall better theme and we're going to be keep working on that um, you know that I guess case study or mini course for you guys to kind of learn from and how to modify your themes without having to pay expensive fees to a developer or use an expensive app that may slow down your store but anyways without further ado let's get right started uh, get started right away and i'm gonna show you that right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload the exported version of this i did remove the settings and let's go upload that bring it over but bam upload shouldn't take very long to upload and we just gotta wait on shopify because they take nine years so while we're waiting for this to populate, we're just going to click on over, click edit code, open that up in a new tab. And then what you want to do, and this is for all themes, this works on every single theme, guys. So, you know, if you say it's not working on your theme, it's probably something you're doing wrong. But if you have an issue, just leave a comment in the section, in, in the comment section below and, you know, someone will reach out and try to help you out. But what you want to do right here is you're going to see a settings data.json file, right? You're going to want to get that, open that up. And what you want to do is you can do Control A or Command A to uh, highlight all the all the text. Then you do Control C or Command C if you're on Mac and copy that over. And let's see if this is done populating. There we go, it's done. So now we're going to open that up into a new tab, Edit Code. And just to show you guys what this looks like now currently, there's nothing here, right? There's no data here. And now on the actual live version, we'll go here. We actually have data, there's content, we can see it. So we're gonna go back and at, at, because we copied this over, we'll do it once one more time just to be safe. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna go to config, settings data, and we're just gonna highlight that and paste it in. You can do control V or command V, or you can just right click, paste. But then once you're done pasting, just click save. Really simple. I'm telling you guys, I wasn't joking, this is really easy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close out of this preview. I'm gonna preview it once more. And for some reason, it opened up there. And ba-bam, there you go. We're on the new version. Check that out. Craziness, right? How easy was that? Now you don't have to freaking go back and edit it all over again. I just saved you time. I just saved you a bunch of time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was a quick and easy video on how to keep your settings without having to redesign everything. If you liked the video, it was informative. Make sure you subscribe. You got any questions, drop a comment below. And... Uh, Smash that like button while you're at it, because it helps us out. As, uh, as all the YouTubers say, it says it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And we're trying to figure that thing out. It's a whole other beast. But anyways, guys, until next time, see you later.